me. We're going to start having a seat on our block. I do have my blocks so I have my strap out and we'll get started. We're in a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. Sit up tall, have your shoulders back and down, hands are on your lap, palms down or up, your choice. Eyes closed or the gaze is off the cheekbones. Once you're in your comfortable seated position, focus on your breath. Feel your inhale through your nose. Feel your exhale through your nose or your mouth, whichever one feels better today. As you inhale, breathe into your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. As you exhale, allow the breath to release all the way down to the bottom of your belly. As you inhale, breathe into your front side and back rib cage. As you exhale, feel the breath release all the way out. Stay here for a few more breaths. Feel the full inhale. Diaphragm, ribs, chest. Feel the full exhale. At the end of your next breath, Eyes open, hands meet, heart center. Take an inhale, reach up, hands, heart center, exhale. Two more times. Reach up with your inhale, hands, heart center. One more time, reach up, inhale, hands, heart center. Hands come down to your lap, out cat. Lift your chest as you inhale, chin can go up. Drop the chin to your chest, round through your spine, exhale. Few more of these, lift your chest as you inhale. Round through your spine, exhale. It's a lift, inhale, round, exhale. Sit up tall, drop your arms by your side, sweep the right arm up, feel the stretch down the right side of your body, lengthen, relax the right side, take the left arm up, touch the ceiling, lean over, add your stretch. Drop the left arm up. one more time, take your right arm up, touch the ceiling, stretch, and then over a little bit more. Switching sides, left fingertips go up. There's your stretch for the side. Bring both your fingertips up high and take a gentle twist to the right. Bring your arms down, gentle twist. Fingertips go up, inhale, gentle twist left, exhale. Fingertips go up high. Bring your hands behind your head. Open up right here. Press your head back. Open the elbows. Little twist to the right. Little twist to the left. Just a small movement. Do that again. Little twist to the right. Twist left. Bring yourself to the center. Squeeze your elbows to the front. Open your elbows to the side. Squeeze to the front. 
open to the side one more time, squeeze, open, stay open, slide your fingertips to your shoulders, elbow circles. Take your elbows up and around, up and around. One more time. Open your arms up to the side, lift your chest, take a big inhale. Hug a big ball as you exhale, open up between your shoulder blades. Inhale, arms open, exhale, big hug. Do that again, open. Here's the hug. Open your arms up, bring them down by your side. We're gonna warm up the lower body. I'm gonna remove my block. Little windshield wiper legs in a seated position is where I'm starting. There's that little side to side. Now it might be more comfortable if your feet are a little wider, but you might like them closer together. Get a little side to side here. Take this into a figure four, right ankle over the left knee, little chance to stretch your hips, but let's add some ankle circles with that top foot. Take the ankle up and around, up and around, and then change direction, take it around in the other direction. And now focus on the stretch through your hips, stop the foot, lift the chest, stretch through your hips a little bit more. Release it down, foot goes down, windshield wiper legs one more time. Wake up the hips as you get them ready for our yoga poses. Here comes figure four on the other side. Ankle is going over the thigh. Add your ankle circles here. Take it around in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. And now go into your figure four for your stretch. Your ankle stay still, you lift your chest, stretch your hips. When you lift your chest, you should get a little bigger stretch in the glutes. Bring your foot down, butterfly bound angle, bottoms of the feet come together. Now you might be more comfortable with the legs further out. You might like to bring them in closer or somewhere in between. There's a lean forward, sit up tall, add some torso circles. Take it up and around right here. Take it around. And now change direction, couple circles around, circles around. Finish this circle and we're going to take ourselves all the way down into Sphinx. You're coming on to your front side. And once you're there, forearms are down on the mat. Feet are walking away. And there is your sphinx. It's your chance to stretch through the top of the head. Really lengthen. Maybe you can even get a really nice stretch down the core. Release down, slide your hands by your rib cage. Here comes Cobra. Now you might choose to start small, but if it feels good to bring yourself up, you could take yourself all the way up. Little look right and left as long as your shoulders are back and down. Slowly lower down and return to your Sphinx pose one more time. Here's your Sphinx. Reach through the top of your head, your toes reach away. Lower down, locust this time, hands touch your thighs, fingers reach for your toes, legs come up, hold your locust. Cobra, hands by your rib cage, shoulders back, you're lifting, and there's your little look to one side. Look to the other side, lower yourself down. Child pose here, press your hips back. Give yourself a stretch through your hips. Wherever child's pose feels best for you, that's where you're taking it. 
Stay here for a few breaths. Breathe into your back rib cage. Feel the whole back rib cage expand. And now gently let the breath all the way out. One more full breath here. From there, bring yourself to your hands and knees. Set yourself up. Knees are under your hips. Hands are flat. Drop the belly, cow cat. Little bigger movement through your spine. Use, move everything from the tailbone all the way to the top of your head. Once you finish this one, meet in your center, and we're adding our upper back twist. Take your hand behind your head, lift your elbow to the ceiling, tap your elbow to the floor. Lift the elbow with an inhale, lower the elbow down. It's a lift and a lower two more times, lift. Lower, one more time, thread the needle. When you come down, slide the arm under. Wherever this works for you, that's where you take it. I'm extending my front arm. You're going to choose what works for you. Big exhale as your shoulders relax down. Bring yourself up. Twist on the other side. Hand is behind your head, elbow goes to the ceiling, elbow comes towards the floor. This is upper back mobility. Lift with an inhale, lower, exhale. Lift and lower one more time. Thread the needle, slide the arm all the way under. Take the stretch of the other arm if you choose. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Bring yourself back to your hands and knees. Take a one foot out behind, press the heel away. This is to stretch the back of your leg. Start with a stretch right here. Lift the leg hip height, pull in the core, add hip circles, bend the knee, take the leg up and around to move through the hips. There is your up and around, up and around. One more time, and now the leg extends out to the side. Leg goes all the way out, and now rock your hips. Move through your hips. Take it a little bit forward and back. Wherever it feels good. Now we're moving more through the hips. Also a nice stretch through the inner thigh. Finish this one. And then we take it, bring the leg in, and get ready for the other side. The leg goes out behind. Start with the stretch of the back of the leg. A stretch down the calf, back of the leg. Engage the core, leg comes up, hip height. Now you add your circles, bend the knee, take the leg up and around, up and around. Now we take the leg out to the side. Here's your inner thigh stretch for your hips. There's your little slide back and forth. We slide back and forth. Make it feel good. One more time. Bring your leg in. Return to your hands and knees. Now set your hands up, your arms up for your first downward dog. Ground your hands, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Now maybe you come up a little, maybe you come up a lot. Just give yourself a stretch right here. 
soften the neck, breathe diaphragm, ribs, chest, bend the knees a little, press the hips back, legs go straight, we lift the heels, and now press your heels down, push your hips back. Take a full inhale, full exhale. Bring your knees to the mat. You're in your hands and knees. Here comes the balance. One leg goes out behind you. Drop the hip, level it out. Opposite arm goes out, hold it here. Arm and leg come down. Here's the other side. Leg goes back. Drop the hip so it's level. Opposite hand goes out. Hold it here. Knee and hand to your mat. Downward dog. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Press back. Lift one leg, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and just take the leg behind enough to stretch quadricep and your hip. Bring the foot back to the mat. Switch sides. Three-legged dog up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Bring the foot down. Take your full inhale. Knees come back down to the mat. Take a dolphin. Lower down to your forearms. You can stay here, pressing into your forearms, lift up through your shoulders. You can tuck your toes, lift your hips. Hold your dolphin here. You could walk your feet in a little closer. These are all options. Stay strong through the upper body. Keep pushing your forearms down. And now bend the knees, child's pose. Sweep your hands back by your side. That way you can rest your shoulders. Take a few big breaths. Bring yourself back to your hands and knees. Set yourself up for your downward dog one more time. Here comes feet. Reach away. Give yourself a nice lengthening. Breathe into your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. Full exhale. Bend your knees. Look towards your hands. Walk your feet towards your hands. Ragdoll is where we're starting. Heels are under your hips. You reach towards your elbows. Keep a bend in your knees. Sway your hips side to side. Give yourself a nice release right here. Bring yourself back to center and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna take your time. Feel free to support yourself. Bring yourself all the way up. Shoulders are back and down. Now we're gonna go through some standing stretching. You're gonna reach your arms up, take a side stretch. Lengthen off to one side. So press the right foot down, stretch off to the right. Now you're gonna press the left foot down, get long. Bring it back to center. Take your hands to your low back. Lift your chest. Big stretch here. Slide your hands to your thighs. Push your hips back. Hold it here for your stretch. Now remember, a little bend in your knees. Hips push back, and you're straight from the tailbone to the top of your head. Good chance you might have to engage your core. As you inhale, bring yourself all the way back up. We're going to do that again. Take a big inhale, reach up. Side stretch, off to one side. Off to the other side. 
Bring it back to center. Hands are on your low back. Lift your chest. Open your shoulders. Chin touches the ceiling. Forward fold. Hands are on your thighs. This time, if you want to go deeper, feel free to go deeper. You would have to bend your knees more. Let yourself come down off. You can reach your big toes. You can grab your big toes and relax into your forward fold or take it where it's appropriate for you. Feel the inhale, feel the exhale. And now you're going to stand all the way up, push your feet into the mat, bring yourself all the way up. Hands are coming to your heart center. Chair pose, slide your hips back. Sit back into your chair. Hold it here. So again, zip up the core. Stay strong here. Hips back. Lift up and now go onto your toes. Find your balance and lift your heels just enough to balance on your toes. Bring your heels down. Return to chair pose. Sit back. Hold your chair here. Add a twist to the right. Now I'm going to stay a little higher. Feel free to take it lower if that works for you. There's your chair with a twist. Bring it back to center. Stand all the way up. Lift your heels. Hold it here. Bring your heels down. Chair pose, sit back. Add your twist. Bring yourself back to the front. One more time, you stand tall, find your balance, lift your heels. Hold it there. Bring your heels down. Take a big step. Side lunges is where we're going. Feet are going to open up. And once you're there, you're going to slide one side and then to the other side. So give yourself a little chance. Slide side to side. Option, you're going to open your arms up. Reach them out to the side. Zip the core, strong legs, strong core, as you slide side to side. One more time each side, hands come to your hips, slide down. There's your goddess pose, we're gonna hold it here, take your arms up to goalpost arms. Here comes your little twist, little upper back twist side to side. Bring it back to center. Hands come to your hips. Stand up tall. Have your toes face the front. Forward fold. Halfway, all the way, wherever you want to take it. That's where you're going to hold it. With an inhale. Bring yourself all the way up. Take a step back to the top of your mat. Hands, heart center. We're going into a high lunge right here. You can keep your right foot to the front. Take your left foot back. You're in your high lunge. Find your balance. Fingertips go up right here. Soften the shoulders. Hold the high lunge. Add a twist, open your arms side to side as you twist here. Fingertips go up, back to the center. Hands, heart center, 
step to the top of your mat, and now we take it on the other side. High lunge, foot goes back, fingertips reach up, hold it here. Fingertips reach, side to side, there's your twist. High lunge, fingertips go back up towards the ceiling. Hands come to the center, step to the top of your mat. And we're going to add on this time. Take your high lunge, foot goes back, fingertips reach up when you're ready. Add your twist. There's your reach, side to side. Fingertips go up. Warrior two, open the back foot and set yourself up in your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, flip your front hand, reach back. Extended side angle, bring your forearm to your thigh. Let the back arm come around, open your chest, reach, lengthen. Drop the bottom arm down, add a little bit more strength here. Top hand, fingertips go to the ceiling. Front leg goes straight. There's triangle. Set yourself up wherever triangle feels right in your body. With an inhale, bring yourself up, warrior two. Settle back into the pose. Relax your shoulders. Big step to the top of your mat. Hands heart center. And we take this on the other side. You're going to step the foot back, high lunge. <laughs> Find your balance. Let your fingertips go up. Add your twist, open. High lunge, fingertips go back up towards the ceiling. Warrior two, adjust the back foot. There comes your opening. Your gaze can go over your front fingertips. Let your shoulders relax. Stay strong in your pose. Reverse your warrior. Flip your front hand. Reach back. Extended side angle. Forearm to your thigh. Back arm reaches. First, get your length, then drop the bottom arm, a little more core here. Fingertips go to the ceiling, triangle. Leg goes straight, adjust your triangle, think straight lines. Take one more breath. Warrior two, bring yourself up. Hold the pose. Bring your hands to your hips. Take your feet to the face the front. Here comes your forward fold. Push your hips back. And then maybe it's halfway. Maybe you take your hands down to the mat. If you can get your hands to the mat, you keep them in line with your feet. Elbows point to the back of the room and you carefully pull your upper body through your legs. Keep your hands planted on the mat. Take a big inhale, full exhale. Bring yourself halfway up. Take a breath, soften the knees. 
you come all the way up, take a big step to the top of your mat, hands heart center. Here comes your vinyasa. It's a reach up as you inhale. Forward fold is your exhale. Halfway lift. Bring your hands to your mat. Walk back into your plank. Hold your plank here. We lower all the way down to the mat. Take your cobra. Here's the lift up. And maybe it's a baby cobra. Maybe you go all the way up. You know what works for you. Release down, downward dog. Lift yourself up. Take your downward dog. Press into your hands. Hips go back. Bring your knees to the mat. You're on your hands and knees. We're adding some crunches here. Take one arm out, opposite leg out. Drop the hip, level it. Add your crunch. Elbow knee, extend it out. Elbow knee, extend it out. It's a crunch and an extension two more times, bring it in, extend it out one more time, in, hold it out here, there's your hold. Arm and leg come down, we get ready for the other side. Leg is out, arm is out, drop the hip, level it out, and now, Elbow to knee, pull it in, extend it out. Pull it in, extend it out. There's your in and out, in, out. One more time, hold it out right here. Arm and leg come down to the floor. Take your downward dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Full breath, breathe into your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. At the end of the breath, bend your knees, look towards your hands. Step, walk to the top of your mat. It is your halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach all the way up to standing and heart center. We're gonna take our warrior one. I'm also going to add a revolve triangle. So I'll be using my block. I'm also gonna face you so you have a better idea. Warrior one, right foot is going to the front. Left foot is back distance up to you. Fingertips reach up when you're ready. So see if you can keep your hips facing front. So if they like to rotate, see a little bigger stretch through the hip as you take the reach up. Hold your warrior one. Soften the shoulders, focus on your breath. Bring your hands down. You can take them to your hips, straighten the front leg, think pyramid first. You're gonna pull the right hip back, come into a forward hinge. Just go halfway. I want you to feel this, push your feet down into the floor. And now we're gonna add the twist. I'm taking my hand to my block. I have my block high. You might choose to go a little bit lower. Hand can be on your low back and you twist. Think reach through the top of your head, add a twist, and then if you choose, you could bring your hand all the way up. There is your revolved triangle. Remember to breathe. Bring your arm down. Take your hands 
to your hips, fold your pyramid. Even on the hips, so if they start rotating, see if you can square them to the floor. Soften the front knee. Bring yourself up. Here's your warrior one. We're coming back into your warrior one. Hold it here. Full inhale. Full exhale. Hands come down to your heart center. Step to the top of your mat. We're going to take this to the other side. You have warrior one, the left foot to the front, right foot steps back. Get your feet set up. My distance is a little wider. It feels better for me that way today. You might choose something else. Now right here, I think hips facing the front. So our tendency is to let our hips go off. See if you can open your hips to the front of the room. Check in with your breath. Soften the shoulders. Hands are coming to your hips. Strain the front leg, pyramid first. Here is that lean forward. Now to get the best stretch, you have to pull the left hip back and you're gonna get a really nice stretch down the back of the leg. From here, it's your re-ball triangle. Hand meets your block. You might twist, keep it lower, and remember each side's gonna feel different. Maybe you sweep the arm up, maybe not. We do try to keep our hips level. Pay attention to what's happening through the lower body. Remember to breathe. Arm comes down, return to pyramid. Right here, hands can come to your hips. There's the stretch for the string. Level out the hips. Soften the front knee. Bring yourself up. Warrior one. Fingertips reach up. Hold your warrior one. Hands come to your heart center. Take a big step to the top of your mat. Shake it out. We're going to practice our tree pose here. You're going to set yourself up. I'm doing my tree pose on the carpeting, less matting, a little bit easier. You pick where you like to take your tree pose. Hands can be at heart center. Choose the leg you want to start with. Kickstand, low or high. You know where you want to take it today. Once you have it there, arms are your choice. Now I'm going to keep my hands together. Pushing the palms together, you can lift your arms up halfway all the way, wherever it works for you. Focus on your breath. Find a good focal spot. One more breath. Arms can come down. Relax your legs, shake it out, and get ready for the other side. So just like the other side, first get that good grounding through your foot. You could be in a kickstand. You could have it low. You might bring it all the way up. Once you have your legs, you can reach your arms up if you want. Like I said today, I'm keeping my hands heart centered. Pressing the palms together. Focus on the breath. Hold your pose. Start relaxing your arms. Relax your legs. Give yourself a little shake right here. Now we're going to get ready to take our vinyasa down to the floor. Meet at the top of your mat. Have your hands at heart center. Take an inhale, reach up. Forward fold is your exhale. Halfway lift is your inhale. Bring your hands to your mat. Walk back into your plank. Hold your plank. Hold your plank here. Solid.
lower all the way down to the mat and take your cobra, big or small, wherever you want to take it today. Release your cobra down. Press back into child's pose. Here comes your child's pose. Hips go back. Wherever you want this stretch most is where you're going to take it. Bring your hands to your hands and knees. Bring yourself up. We are coming back into downward dog. I'm adding crunches from downward dog. That means if you want to take it from your hands and knees, you're going to stay there. Otherwise, you would lift, you're in your three-legged dog. Here's your knee to nose, slide forward into your plank. There's your plank, and then you press back. Here comes knee to nose as you slide forward and then press it back. Do that one more time. Slide forward into plank, press it back, set this foot down, and take it on the other side. Foot is up. Slide the knee to the nose as you plank, and press it back. Here's knee to nose, slide forward, and now press back. One more time, knee to nose, press it back, set the foot down, downward dog, plank pose, there's your slide forward, hold your plank, lower to the mat, and this time take the locust. Take your hands by your side, Reach your fingers to your toes, legs come up, hold your locus. Cobra, hands by your rib cage, bring yourself up. Take a look off to the right, off to the left. Lower yourself down. Press back into your child's pose. Give yourself a nice stretch. Feel free to circle out your wrist, take it in one direction. Maybe it's more of walking your hands out, lifting your wrist off the mat on your fingertips. One more time, downward dog. Bring yourself up, lift your hips. And now you're going to walk your feet through into a seated position. Bring yourself through whatever method works for you. We're starting with our boat pose. We're gonna do some core work. We're gonna do more stretching. Boat pose, wherever you wanna take it. Hands under your thighs or forward. Lean back. You could lift the legs or not. Remember, we want to stay strong, lift your chest, let the core do the work. Bring your feet down to the floor, slide your hands behind your hips. Option one is to stay here. Option two, press into your feet, lift your hips. There is that big stretch through the front of the body but it also gets your arms, your shoulders, so be careful here. Lift, lift the hips, release it down, go back into your boat pose, whatever version you choose to take. Feet down or up. Take your fingertips up. Focus on your breath, hold the pose. Feet come down, here's your reverse tabletop. Hands are on the mat, and again, maybe you stay here. Maybe you push into your feet, you lift your hips, and you hold it here.
release your hips down. And one more time, we have our boat pose, wherever you want to take it, either up or down. And this time we're going to open up to the side. We're going to take one arm, reach back, add a twist, hold it here, bring it back to the front, and I'll take it on the other side and open and hold. Bring it back to the front. Bring the feet down. One more time, reverse tabletop. Hands are behind your hips. Hips go up. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. Release your hips down, butterfly bound angle. You're taking the bottoms of the feet together. And maybe you lean forward a little or a lot, giving yourself a nice release from the boat and the reverse tabletop. Bring yourself up, take your legs in. Now we're gonna go into some forward folds and it's stretching the lower body. If you have your strap nearby, we're gonna Use a strap, I like to use it on for our yoga class. This strap will come around the bottoms of your feet and we use the strap to level out your feet, keep your toes up, keep the feet flat, and then you pull your chest forward. So I don't really care how low you go, this is really about, think, reach through the top of your head, that means zip the core, and lean with your chest as you lengthen here. And now each time you exhale, you lengthen your spine a little bit longer. With an inhale, bring yourself up. Keep your strap around one foot. It's around my right foot. You're gonna bring the left foot in. Now, if your knee or your hip ever bothers you in this move, use the block that has more to do with hip mobility. And then right here, you use a strap, keep your foot straight, toes towards the ceiling. And now you're bringing the sternum over your thigh as you lean forward. And then you reach through the top of your head, Bring yourself up and switch the foot that's in your strap. There's, use the strap. And again, if you want to use the block underneath the knee, go for it. Here it comes. A strap is used to keep your foot straight up and level. So lots of times we swivel our foot and then you use the strap to lengthen the top of your head towards your toes. It's not so much about getting low as it is about lengthening your spine. So each time you lengthen your spine, you're gonna feel that extra stretch down the back of your leg. With an inhale, bring yourself up. You can set your strap to the side. We're going to take our twist here. You can extend the right leg out, bring the left leg in, set it to the outside and see if today you can get your foot completely flat. You can hug the knee, add a twist. If you wanna go bigger today, take the hand to the outside of the thigh. Now that's a bigger twist. And now you're using your tricep to add even a bigger twist. Only do that if it's appropriate for you. You bring it back to the front and we take it to the other side. Left leg is out, right leg comes in. You're grounding the foot on the floor. You're gonna hug the knee and sit up tall. Other hand is on the ground behind. Now, if you want more, use your tricep to add a little bigger twist. 
if it's appropriate for you. Bring yourself back to the front. Open your legs up wide. It's your V right here. Hands are on the mat in front of you. Grab the mat, pull your chest forward, add your stretch through your legs. Bring yourself all the way up. You can bring your legs in. We're going to meet down on the floor. We're going to start with a little bit of core work. I do have my strap and my block nearby to use it once I'm on the floor. We're going to start. Bring yourself down, whatever method works for you. Bring your knees into your chest. Give little circles on your back. We're switching to core work on our backside. Feel your shoulders relax down. We bring our knees up over our hips. You bring your shins parallel to the floor. Fingertips towards the ceiling. And now opposite arm, opposite leg. There's your tap and reach and bringing. Now just pay attention. Pelvis stays level. You're staying engaged through your core. And there's your reach. And bring it in, reach, bring it in. One more time on each side. There's your lengthen. Hold it here. Here comes the hole. Take your hand, your right hand against your right thigh. Press the arm, the leg into the hand, hand into the leg. That's isometric. And then extend the other leg out and hover. So keep pressing the leg into the hands, the hands into the leg. And there's a lot of core happening right here. Bring that leg in. Switch sides. Now your hands are pressing into your left leg. First, get that isometric, and then you extend the other leg out. Hold that. Push, push, push. Knee into the hands, hands into the knees. Leg comes in. We're going to do that one more time on each side. Push your hands into your thigh, your thigh into your hands. Extend the leg out. Hold that right there, strong center. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring the leg in. Here comes the other side. Isometric, push, push, push. Then you have the lengthen. Stay strong. If you don't feel your core working, double check your form. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring the leg in. Bring the feet down to the floor. Hands are by your side. Here's your bridge. Lift up into your bridge. Pull the bridge as you shoot the tailbone away. Give yourself a nice stretch. And that includes for the core. We just worked. Release your hips down. Take your hands to your thighs. Press your hands into your thighs. Lift your hips for bridge. Keep the connection here. Hold it. And add little pulses of your hips up. Now, we don't want to irritate our back. Adjust your feet. Squeeze the glutes. It's a little squeeze of the glutes. A little squeeze of the glutes. Movement super small. Lift and lift. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Hold your bridge a little bit longer. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Release your hips down. Open your feet. It's windshield wiper legs. Open them far enough and drop the knees side to side. 
Release your hips, release your back, relax your core. Bring your knees into your chest, big hug. Hope your strap is nearby. First, we take our hug. Extend one leg out, keep the knee hugging in. This is a fabulous stretch. Use it to loosen the back, but use it to loosen and stretch. The front of the thigh, the front of the hip, the low back. Grab your strap, take it around the bottom of the foot, and now here comes a hamstring stretch. Now, you could keep the back leg straight. I often bend it. I feel like I get a better stretch when I bend the back leg, but that's me. That's my body. You might find something else works better. Big exhale as you let that top leg, that hip, sinks into the mat, and that increases the stretch. Take the strap in your outside hand, open it, and now make sure your hips stay square to the ceiling. I do that by dropping my opposite knee out to keep my hips open. We don't want to fall to the side. You want to stay centered towards the ceiling and add the stretch for your inner thigh. You bring the leg back towards the ceiling, strip, switch hands, and now the leg goes across, and you're finding the stretch down the outer hip, the outer thigh. And remember, the goal is to stretch through the leg, so we're not trying to get into our back. We'll get our twisting for that part of our body in a little bit. Right now, it's all about the leg and getting the outside. Bring the leg back to center. Bring both your knees into your chest. Here's the hug. Keep the opposite knee in. The other leg goes out. Feel the stretch. Push the heel down and away from you. Now you would start taking the strap around the bottom of the foot. Bottom of the foot goes towards the ceiling. Your choice, now I like to bend my bottom leg. Use that strap, keep your foot flat and level to the ceiling. Use an exhale, let your hip melt into your mat and that increases the stretch. We hold the strap in the outside hand. The leg opens to the side. And there is your stretch. So try to keep your hips level as you hold the stretch here. Bring the leg back up to center. And now you take the leg across your midline. And remember, this is all about outer hip, outer thigh. Start bringing the leg back up to the center. You can set your strap off to the side. Bring your knees in towards your armpits. Let the bottoms of the feet go towards the ceiling. This is happy baby. Use it. Massage your back. Little rocking side to side. Toes go up towards the ceiling. Here's the reach of your toes towards the ceiling. Point your toes, stretch them out, get space between every toe. Wiggle the toes, add some ankle circles. Take your circle around. Change direction, the legs circle in the other direction, or the ankles. Bottoms of the feet go towards the ceiling. There's the stretch. Point the toes. Pull the toes down. 
Point the toes, do that one more time. Pull them down. Point. Here is your V. You can open your legs up wherever it's comfortable for you. And there is your chance. Wiggle your toes, stretch them. Add circles for your ankles. Whatever feels good, we'll stay here. I don't know, about 30 more seconds. Wherever it feels good for your legs, that's where you take it. Maybe you're moving your feet. Maybe you're just holding them up. It's whatever works for you. We can start bringing our feet down to the floor very carefully. Take some windshield wiper legs, just your chance. Move the hips a little bit. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Now take your knees up over your hips. Keep your thighs together. Open your arms, take a spinal twist. You're gonna see if you can keep your legs together. Now I am going to use my block. It feels better for me. You might choose something else. And there is your chance to do your spinal twist. And that is gonna be different for all of us. So if your chest is tight, your shoulders are tight, you might feel it there. If you're tight in your low back, you might feel it there. If you're holding a lot of tension, use a big exhale and relax that tense area. Bring your legs back to center. And now you take it over to the other side. And there's that. Think shoulders and relax. Start bringing your legs back to center. Take your happy baby one more time. Take the knees into the armpits, bottoms of the feet, little rocking. Now this is going to be our last stretch, last move before Shavasana. If there's any other stretches you want to take before you bring yourself all the way down to the floor, do what you have to do so you can be comfy. For about, I don't know, three minutes is how long we'll be in our shavasana. Let your legs relax where it's comfy when you're ready. You want to make sure you're letting your hips settle down. Arms relax down. Breath is going to relax. Base of the head settles into the mat. Chin, your jaw relaxes. Feel a little space between your teeth. Allow your tongue to drop to the bottom of your mouth. Feel your fingers and your toes soften, relax.
Feel your heels, your hips, your shoulders. Sink deeper into your mat. Breath is at your own pace, your own rhythm. Begin deepening your breath. Adding movement to your fingers and your toes. Long stretch as you reach overhead, your toes point away. Knees Begin coming into your chest. Release through your back. Take it off to your side. Reconnect with your breath here. Begin bringing yourself up into a comfortable seated position. We meet with our hands, heart center. Take an inhale, reach all the way up. Hands, heart center here. Namaste. Thank you. Happy Saturday. Have a wonderful weekend. I